All right, we're gonna do a video on Simon Belmont. But before I do, I just wanna take a sip of this nice, delicious Celsius live fit. Mmm. You were the worst. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do the Belmonts. So Simon and Richter, the most annoying online characters. Pick Richter. That's my controller. No. Why do you hate me, Jason? What? Why do you hate me? We are making this video, and this video is going to be on YouTube, so I want people to know why do you hate me. I don't! Do you hate me? No. I'm, after so this video is it, done, what I'm you never do is gonna, throw the cross. I'm never gonna be so talking to Jason damage. again. No, damage. that's not how it works, Jason. Uh, how's it work? You throw it across. Yeah, like randomly. Uh, Simon, Simon comes from this amazing game called Castlevania. Actually, does, does it come from the bad ones? Like the early Castlevanias that were supposed to be... I heard like the lower rated ones where he comes from. I actually haven't played the ones with either of these characters. Finally, Sakurai gave us the Castlevania character, Simon and Richter. Not only one, but two. Simon and Richter Bowman. Yes. So they are finally coming to Smash from Castlevania. I don't know the name of the Castlevania, but uh, yeah, they are good characters. They are finally here because everyone is here. If you played them online, you're probably gonna think they're the most broken thing ever because you can't react to projectiles. They're, but don't worry, they're not quite as broken in real life, but they're definitely an above average character. Very good. What? Okay, uh, so their, their best move is side B. Okay, so Belmont. The side Belmont, B. Belmont characters are like links. Like oh, John Link, Toon Link, Link. They have like a, a lot of range actually, but like they also have good projectile game. They can just do whatever they want with the projectile game. That's why they're like super hard to beat in online. But they also have like a lot of range. Probably... They're the most range in the game. Yeah, they have the more range in the game. And like their range is not like huge, like it's so long. It's not like super big, but it's long. It's, on, it's, it's, a, just it's long. a skinny little hitbox. It's yeah, literally it's just, just, just it's the whip just like itself. a skinny long range. So that's why I would say any, any other Storman character is, has better range than them. But uh, they are still pretty good because they also have the items, one of the best items in the game. The cross, the axe, and the holy water. That actually can look, just like put you in a bad situation and kill you like 80 with a force match. Yeah, I'd say their neutral is heavily going to be about their the cross, which is their side B attack. There's two ways to throw the cross. You have a smash throw, where you press forward and B at the same time. And there's the lighter throw where you can press the stick slower or halfway and then press B and it, you th throw it less distance. Now the, the far cross is good if they're really far away from the screen, but it's easier to parry that one. And if you parry the, the cross, it's easier to like parry it and then you can just run in after him and then with a dash attack or something. But if you do the slow cross, it's actually harder to parry. So I recommend throwing the slow cross when possible because that one's actually harder to parry and that's a good kind of play. I would say that that's probably their best move in neutral. Besides that, the Holy Fire, the best use of the Holy Fire. It can be good anytime, but um, yeah, you can jump into it, but I think ledge trapping is really good. If you do the ledge, if you throw the Holy Fire at the edge, you can catch the normal stand, you can catch get up attack, and you can also catch jump sometimes, depending on when you do it, which means the only guaranteed way to avoid it is to do ledge roll, but then all Simon has to do is read that you're gonna ledge roll and then just punish that. Also, if you do normal stand into the the Holy Fire, he gets a tip or forward smash for free. So you don't want to do normal stand when Simon's on the ledge. You do not want to you do not want to press forward from the ledge. Because then you will get hit with all the fire hits and then you're gonna get tip or forward smash and die at like 70% at the edge. Yeah, that's basically his natural game and also like Jason just said, he can just throw the the holy water into the ledge. But he can also throw the axe and the cross, right? So it makes the ledge the ledge trap better. Like even if they jump like the holy water is gonna be there, but also the axe is gonna be falling to him. So he he needs to he needs to do something before like the axe gets to him. But like if he does something, the holy water is gonna be there. But like if he stays there, the cross is just gonna is just gonna heal him. So it's just no matter what, it's no you're matter in a bad what spot. you do, you're gonna be in a bad spot, and you can just that super early. See if I do normal stand. See if I he does hit. normal stand, he's gonna get hit see, by like, the what, holy like, water. Normal stand. Normal people want a normal stand. Go look. I try normal stand to do the third of fire. Oops. See, and then you hit me with a forward spin. Oh, that didn't work that time. Stand back more. That wasn't, you have to stand back more. That's not a tipper. See, look how early you 
that's a stale move. And then the forward air, I was barely out of range. The forward air actually has more recovery than the uppy, but it's not significant. Let's see. Oh. I mean, yeah, it makes. Can't. Super. Oh, it didn't. I think I overrated that. Okay, like, you never want to recover with uppy. Only yeah, in case, up is like, only if you're really Only low. in case, like, if you're 100%, you're gonna make it with LB, you just go for the LB. But in any other cases, just you just go for the, for any other movement, you can just recover for free. Just be careful, just take your time, like, recovering to the stage, because they are always gonna wait for you. Since they know you're not gonna use LB, you're gonna use something else. So you just need to, like, mix it up every, over and over, like, every time. And the down tilt, uh, watch. Try to show grab my down tilt. See, I can just do the kick. And I, I hear this thing, I can kick right away, or I could wait and then kick. So like, let's say you wanna block the kick, like try to sugar grab right away. No, 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 blocking sugar grab. See, I can do the kicks right away, or what I can do, if I think they're expecting that, I can wait any period of time and then do the second kick. So, based, based down tilt, the moment you down tilt a shield, it's already, you're already in a mix up tree, where you, you don't necessarily have to, uh, you don't necessarily have to, uh, do the second hit right away. Salem does that trick a lot where he just does a down tilt and he just sometimes does it right away, sometimes waits a little bit, sometimes waits a long time. And you have to guess what's one he's doing. Unless you have like a super fast like Marth up here to shield, for example, uh, a lot of characters just have to take the guessing in because most characters out of shield isn't super amazingly fast. So you have to make like a read. So it's the it's, uh, down tilt can be really, really useful, I think. Weaknesses are like the recovery there. Like recovery is like super bad. If they choose to recover with Obi, they're like in disadvantage. Every corner counter, like every character with a counter is gonna be able to just kill them right away. They're gonna start. They are literally gonna die at zero if they make a mistake. So you just you just looking for them to be off stage. I know it's super hard to actually grab them, but once you grab them, just make sure you throw them off stage. You don't even need to do a combo or anything. You just need to focus on get them off stage. It's strange and like everything else. But yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> that's the only weakness. If they, if they, if they had a good recovery, they'd be completely broken. The, that is the weakness. Yeah, if you they, have to edge guard them. Imagine if they had like a Mars, Mars recovery. Yeah, no, those characters like they'd be completely broken if they had a good recovery. So you, they needed that weakness to balance them out. If you want to beat these characters, pick a character with a reflector, and that makes yeah, your job much easier. Reflector with a good movement, like with a lot of range, like Palutina or like any Stormman character, especially Mars and Lucina. I just, I personally think it's reflector is the biggest factor. You, you can completely negate their their strongest aspects in neutral if you just have a way to reflect their moves back at them. Those are their I think weaknesses. their worst matchup is actually Sheik, just because the movement on the edge guard. She just doesn't care, she can just be like crouching. And <laughs> she's never gonna get hit. Game wants to be good because anytime he wants to throw the projectiles, you can do this. Yeah, and then you so can take away you, part of neutral. You don't always need to throw projectiles actually. You can Yeah, just it's just an example like how you can reflect their stuff. You don't need to, but I used to play Richter a lot at the beginning. See? I just picked a random example, but yeah, basically a lot of characters can uh, throw their stuff back. One of the best combos is yeah. like, let me show them. Okay. You just downer them, even, just try to shield me. Even if they shield you, you can just jump and like escape again. And if they get hit, you can just do downer into Obi. And, and Obi kill. kills super And he's early. like a kill super confirm. Early. And he also can do like downer. In no, wait, wait. Oh. Downer into Nair, drag down, and you start getting more combos. It's just like a reset combo. You can't do anything, see? Throw the cross, axe, water, cross, axe, water. Oh, I did it wrong, I think. No. 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 Cross, water, four tilt. No. Water, cross. Axe, cross, axe, side B again, down B, B, B again, oh, B side. <laughs> See, he couldn't do anything. <laughs> he literally couldn't do anything, so that's how you play Richter. So yeah, that's pretty much now. everything. We just showed you everything, guys. We're gonna be ranking like in any other video, combos, neutral game, movement, kill power, everything about the character. So first for combos, I would say it's a C. Basically, no, a B, actually I a say B. a B. Yeah, I don't think- I don't I, They think also have like the Nair drag down, down for a fair. I don't think their They're combos are bad. like super bad, like B. snakes combos, but you can basically just do like down throw into, into fair, 
like basically any item to a fair. That's basically all. And Nair drag down. Nair into drag down into, into down throw fair, downer into LB, downer into Nair drag down fair. And so, the items combo off each other. Yeah. Side B is always going to come with something. Axe is going to come they're, with they're something at low percent. Okay, for each Guardian, I think if you if we count each, each Guardian and Lich Trapping at the same in the same in like in the same attribute, I would say it's an S. Yeah. Lich Trapping is like it, amazing. The the edge guarding itself is like whatever, but the it's if like whatever. Like, 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 Lich Trapping like top like five, the easy top five in the game at Lich Trapping. Yeah. Imagine if we just change edge guarding for ledge trapping. That then would be then it's S. Edge guarding is just like whatever. Just there, you're like gonna grab the ledge against them probably, but then you, you ain't getting back to center anytime soon. You ain't getting off that ledge safely anytime soon. Uh, neutral, probably neutral. S. Probably but S. Same. If they can have a reflector, then it's A. A or B. A or B if they have a reflector. If they have no reflector, then it's probably S. Q power, I think I will. I will say A. They don't kill with anything besides like. Smash attacks. They can kill you with like upper, like deeper force. I mean, forward. They're like super actually hard to hit, and you're not focusing on getting those moves at Q percent. You're just focusing on getting like the axe. I bounce off the axe. Or holy water into something. So that's that's why I give him an A. The movement is down tilt. They are just. They're probably B movement. They are just strong. For but movement, I think the movement is like B. Yeah, B. They're like super slow, but down tilt is actually a really good tool to just escape and get back to the center of the stage. And downer into shield and jump again is really strong. Yeah, and overall, so down, they're high tier. So downer, down tilt are like the, the Yeah, basic those are the best movement things, because that, that if you downer the, but like, and they like, shield it, they bounce. You it's bounce like the same safety. as snake. You don't you don't really need to move because you're always throwing items yeah, and food. All about the items. Like your vampire killer in front of you. Overall, I think like a high tier character. Yeah, I think high tier for sure. I vanquish the darkness! All right, thanks for watching our video. Um, make sure you subscribe to the Echo Fox YouTube because we're going to be releasing many more videos as well. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. Keep, keep going. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. Keep going. I'm... Okay, I'm not gonna do anything. <laughs> I don't know, what are you doing? Like if they're watching the video, that means that means the the, the subscribe button is right here. Oh, I'm doing it. oh, you're pointing to subscribe. Button. Yeah. Okay. Now I understand. Okay. <laughs>